Hi everybody, it's Jared from Be a Fitness Freak. Um, today in my two and a half by two and a half, I'm going to be talking about what I think is probably the greatest tool that you can use to determine, uh, first and foremost, how healthy you are. You know, when people come to me and they say, you know, well, we're talking specifically about what they're wanting me to do and help them out, you know, 90% of them have tried a diet before, whether it's Atkins or maybe some low carb diet or, um, you know, Master Cleanse or something. And again, um, you know, that's not really my goal when I meet with people. My goal is to find out again what works best for you. And I found one tool that over the course of the past four years, really, that I found that is the is the greatest tool, as I said, that you can use to determine how healthy you are internally and how well that diet is working for you. Now, what tool is this? It's this thing right here. What is this? This is a thermometer. Now, why do I like the thermometer? Again, because the thermometer does what? It tells you how healthy you are internally. You know, you take it when you're sick, again, because you want to find out if you're uh, having a fever or if you're not. And again, you can apply the same things with this thermometer as you can with digestion, again, internally in the foods that you're working with. So what, what is it telling you? You know, when your temperature is, is higher, it's, your body's really trying to fight things, um, you know, with a fever. It's trying to break something down. It's trying to get rid of it. And it's working really, really hard to do that. Well, what happens is that most people, I bet you that is watching this video right now, have a body temperature not anywhere near 98.6 or no normal body temperature. I would bet you that most people probably have it anywhere from you know, 97 to 98. Again, I've seen many people that consistently have that 96, 96 and a half temperature. So what is that telling you? Is that by having a low body temperature, your body is having a hard time working, whether it's circulatory, respiratory, but in most instances, again, you can relay it directly to digestion. So how is that beneficial? Well, again, look at the foods that you're eating. Look at the type of exercise that you're doing. Look at the things that you're putting into your system and take your body temperature. What you're finding is that if your body temperature, again, is consistently low, whatever it is that you're doing is not necessarily working best for you. So what do you do? How can you increase this? Well, of course, you know, again, uh, to eat better foods and maybe change up your diet. But, you know, again, uh, going forward, Trying to get up that 98.6 is the best way to do it. If you're interested in finding out a little bit more about body temperature, you know, how it relates to digestion and maybe how you can improve and increase your body temperature, you know, message me. There's a little link down at the bottom. Um, you know, you can send it and say, hey, Jared, I'll, let me know a little bit more about body temperature and how it relates to digestion and making me feel a little bit better. And as I said, I'll send you out some free information, or at least the things that I have that you can use, again, to help you determine how well specifically your diet and your health style is working for you. Again, I appreciate it. This is two and a half and two and a half. Have a great day, everyone.